Before we continue with Be'ahavta, our prayer which celebrates God's love by reminding us it's carried through the generations, we will now hear from two members of our Calling Generations program. Come on up. This wonderful program which began during the pandemic and has continued to bring members of different generations in our community together. Good evening. Two years ago, I had the privilege of celebrating the teen Shabbat with my then partner and now lifelong friend, Brian. He and I spoke to you about our joint experience getting the Calling Generation program launched. That evening was the first time I sat in this sanctuary without wearing the obligatory COVID-19 mask. Ryan and I spoke of our many conversations and how the conversation, how the experience, then completely remote on Zoom, restored a sense of release from the isolation of the pandemic that then surrounded us. Ryan and I are still in touch. We meet for lunch and catch up when he is on collegiate breaks. Fast forward to the present. The pandemic has eased, but we are still cautious. We are easing into normalcy while grappling with the horrors of October 7th. I have a new, wonderful partner in Jesse. I count myself so very lucky to be paired with this very bright and beautiful young lady. In addition to our weekly telephone calls, we've been able to meet in person at M's monthly bagels and activity brunches for the Calling Generations members. These fun times with activities like tracing our family trees or playing Monopoly have given us a chance to further bond and to get to know other members of the group, both senior and teen. But that special time we have with each other each Sunday is a precious one-on-one -on -one sharing of each other's lives. What a special gift. Each time we learn something new about each other, we share the acquired wisdom of one generation and the new experiences and ideas of the next. It is a privilege to be able to participate in the program. Doing so as members of our temple community helps to build new traditions in the service of our people. For me, whose whole family is small and geographically distant, a connection gap is filled. I hope that I am able to make some small contribution to Jesse's world. Our weekly talks fill me with joy. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, M. Thank you, rabbis. Thank, thank you, Emmanuel community. Okay. Hi, my name is Jesse Hoffman, and I am currently in seventh grade. I joined Calling Generations this past September and was paired with and introduced to my partner, Linda. I first learned about Calling Generations from my brother who has participated for several years. Even though he is now away at boarding school, he still speaks with his partner every week. I have always admired the relationship that my brother has with his Calling Generations partner, so I asked to get involved when I started seventh grade, even though I may be on the younger side for the program. My friends and I usually communicate via Snapchat, TikTok, or other social media, but we never really speak, especially on the telephone. It got even worse for us during COVID, so now I have a reason to speak on the telephone, but the program has given me so much more. I truly never realized how rewarding it would be and how much I would get out of it. I look forward to my call with Linda every week for several reasons. First, I've developed a relationship with someone like a grandma, but I don't have to worry about her telling my parents anything. <laughs> Second, I feel like Linda will listen to any topic I want to discuss. 
Third, the program has given me an opportunity to take part in something that is my own. Most importantly, though, I love our weekly calls. We get to talk about our weeks, share things we love, teach each other stuff, and so much more. In fact, Linda is planning to attend my bat mitzvah in April. I am so excited. Thank you for giving me an opportunity to speak about my experiences with the Calling Generations program. And thank you, Linda, for being my partner and my friend. Shabbat Shalom.